With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is, a ball moves on a smooth floor in a straight line with a uniform velocity of 10 meter per second for 6 seconds. At t is equal to 6 seconds, the ball hits the wall and come back along the same line to the straight point with same speed. With same speed. Draw the velocity time graph, use it to find the total distance travelled by the ball and its displacement. The velocity time graph is going to be something like this. The horizontal arm will represent time. The vertical arm will represent velocity. As it is written over us, uh, written over here, a ball moves on a smooth floor in a straight line with a uniform velocity of 10 meter per second. So velocity is uniform for 10 meter per second for 6 seconds. And at 6 seconds, there is a wall. There is a wall. Right here. This is the wall. And after 6 seconds, the ball hits the wall and come back along the stream come back along the come back along the same line to the starting point with the same speed so velocity is uniform 10 meter per second for 6 seconds at 6 seconds the ball hits the wall and come back so there are two motions what is first is forward motion and second is backward motion so now our solution is going to be the velocity to time graph something like this and now as we know distance is equal to speed multiplied by time speed is equal to distance upon time so distance is going to be speed multiplied by time so 10 multiplied by 6 is going to 60 meter but just for forward motion as it is written in the question the ball hits a wall and comes back along the same line to the starting point so a total distance is going to be total distance is going to be 2 multiplied by 60 which is 120 meters and displacement a displacement is going to be zero why zero displacement is going to be zero and why zero because initial and final positions are same and displacement is change of position our final position our ball is here starts from here and come back along here after our ball hits the wall so now means our distance or means our displacement or position hasn't changed that's why initial position is equal to final position initial position is equal to final position that's why no displacement thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today